We now move into the professional ranks, super welterweight bout. Five five minute, ro minute rounds. And of course, the addition of knees to the head and elbows on the ground. And we have Vadim Kleneshnikov, who was in the black and white, taking in the white Sean McCormick, making his pro debut. Nice sure. right hand by McCormick, but the kick just knocked him off balance, Phil. Trying to grab that ankle. Shades of his brother's fight that we've just seen getting in on that takedown. McCormick says the gains he has made since moving to FAI have been exponential. And there's the elbows being shown by Klinechikov. They are nasty. We've seen a good few fights stopped in that way. You look at the likes of Travis Brown has success with them. Kiefer Crosby and Bellator has had success with them. It just adds a completely different complexion to the clinch work, yeah. being able to land those elbows. He's got to watch the spine just as he was throwing them shots down. Look at a downward elbow off. too. Yeah. To the spine and a downward elbow. I think he got a warning there from referee Eddie Marin. Garth McCormick, three and, or sorry, Sean McCormick, three and one as an amateur. His only loss coming to now teammate Troy Gibson. Bet you that's fun in the sparring room. Kleshnikov's just one foot in the hip trying to push away. Oh, nice uppercut landed there by McCormick and then Ed again on another takedown. Gets Kleshnikov to the ground. Kleshnikov trying to fire off those elbows. And they are landing on the side of the head and they are not enjoyable. Especially if you're not used to taking him, this being your pro debut, it's bound to be a little bit of a culture shock. But McCormick looking good so far in that top position. Kleshnikov looking to sit back and maybe post onto a knee here and get back to his feet using the cage wall. He has done. Oh, big shots again by Kleshnikov. Pull the legs from, Kle from underneath McCormick, but Kleshnikov scrambles and is in top. What can he offer from this position? Ironically, it's not the guy called Kolesnikov that's been shooting. Nice elbow by Kolesnikov there. Needs What's to the triangle? The triangle. Needs to posture up out of that. Up kick potentially here from McCormick. Does well to get to his feet. Kolesnikov gone. It comes from a K1 background, and I'm he not looks, sure what we're going to call that one. Look, perhaps looks a little bit tired. Yeah. All that defensive grappling. You can see resigned look on his face there. As McCormick closed in. Oh, nice right hand. Big shot. Could be on way to a rear naked choke here. Kleshnikov just, he's looking up and really leaving that neck exposed. Needs to be careful. A little bit of frustration on the face yeah. of uh, Kolesnikov. McCormick finding a way to get these strikes through. Big shots. Yeah. Beautiful by McCormick. Good shot selection and... You can almost see that Kleshnikov's just not used to being in this position, and to his credit, he's trying to move now. More of a more of a K1 striking stylist, isn't he? No. Both hooks in here from McCormick. Just needs to flatten his opponent out. Expect that to come now. Both hooks in and try to stretch Kleshnikov out. There it is. He can either go for the choke or he can land. Just transitions into the yeah. mount. If Kolesnikov is to turn into him, but big shots to the body, rippling the ribs. Kolesnikov going to hold on to that neck while he steps into full mount, and maybe again an inexperienced move, trying to fire shots from the bottom while mounted. And right now it's all yeah. Sean McCormick can get those elbows through as well, should he so choose to, this being a pro fight. Kolesnikov does well to get him back to almost half guard here, but... Not really mounting anything in the way of what you would call intelligent defense. He's going to look just like brute strength, try and stand up here. He needs to be careful of leaving his neck open when he's doing so. McCormick working for that body triangle. Again, Kolesnikov needs to roll to the side that it's locked on to alleviate some of that pressure. McCormick has a hand on a wrist. Can't quite see if Kolesnikov has the, the head of McCormick in sort of a schoolyard grip. He was just obstructed slightly. I think the, the head of McCormick yeah. looks to be out now. 
looking to get under that neck now. Landing shots to the body, hoping that Kleshnikov will try to defend. Kleshnikov pushes the arm up over the head. 10 second clapper. Kleshnikov doing the right thing, went two on one, swung yep. the hand over the head a la baseball bat. Be interesting, we said it was a resigned look and perhaps fatigue. So it'll be interesting to see Kleshnikov coming into that second round. Noticeably in between rounds, Phil, the demeanor of both men. Kleshnikov looking tired, arms on the cage. Seems to be feeling it a little more than Sean McCormick. Opens up with a nice inside leg kick. And a nice left hand by Kleshnikov. Oh, jumping knee attempt there by Kleshnikov. Those elbows to the, the back. The referee is going to stop it, yeah, just for that elbow to the back on Sean McCormick. And it did look like a downward elbow too. Yeah. And Kleshnikov is even resting his arms. Funnily, it's Kleshnikov who's a villain of this little break. Yeah. Sean McCormick is asking, yeah, I was in an advanced position there. I want to bring it back, but Edward Marin is going to start him in the center. So Kleshnikov landed a nice left hand and tried a flying knee after that. So expect to see something similar here. McCormick again getting in on that takedown. And it really has been the most offensive weapon within his arsenal so far in the course of this fight. Kleshnikov's got a hold of the neck, but this is again... But that's it. It is just a yeah. hold of the neck. It's not looking for the guillotine. It's, I don't think... He's trying to work for the 10 finger choke. It's more so just a, just a means of holding on to Sean McCormick. Sean McCormick is just going to bide his time here and wait for Kleshnikov's grip to loosen and pop his head out as he does, right on cue. In the mind position now. Looks like he might be trying to work for that head arm triangle. Just has the chest over the elbow of Kleshnikov. Nice short elbow. Kleshnikov's arm is caught. Under the left, his right arm under the left leg of McCormick, trying to use the cage to push out, get out the back door. Good Does work. so, but McCormick transitions beautifully and right back into a takedown. Good work by Kleshnikov here, though, trying to reap McCormick, but nice knee as well. You can see, though, Phil, Kleshnikov from his previous fight at Clam Wars, you can't see the improvements in his game, of course, only training mix, mixed martial arts a while, and you can't see the improvements, but against an experienced amateur making his pro debut, and yeah, Sean so McCormick, you can just see the difference in, in the grappling, although, Sean McCormick is going to have a couple of added lumps to his head tomorrow, with these elbows, McCormick just trying to solidify the position here before he starts raining down strikes. Good head control. Again, in that might position, essentially three-quarter might right now. I'd like to see him try and level off some of those elbows. Kleshnikov tries to roll, double hook, two hooks are in by McCormick. Right in front of his corner is Kleshnikov, so I suppose as always in a bad position, He's in the right place within the cage to be in that position. Corner just trying to talk him through what to do. McCormick just softening up with strikes. Using the cage to try and get out. Actually Does a great job. Good strength, yeah, just pure brute strength, wasn't it? Just as McCormick allowed a little bit of space and he's driving that forearm across the throat and leaning that weight down on McCormick. Just got to watch his arms for arm bars and triangles here, McCormick, but he did mount a little bit of offense with the triangle in the first round. See if he tries to go back to that. A bit of blood coming from the mouth of Kleshnikov. Body triangle from the bottom. Just using his head, he needs to be careful it's not a head butt, but he was just driving his head into McCormick. You can see McCormick just trying to work that guard incrementally up the back, trying to Perhaps try and work for some kind of submission. You can almost see Kleshnikov, he's, he's happy in this position where he yeah. can land shots. Very old school, inside the guard landing strikes. The guard is out now, open now. and Adrian Marin is going to stand it up. And I, enough, I think yeah. Kleshnikov will be a little discouraged by that. I think he was happy to strike there. And, and again, McCormick getting in on that take. Done a good use of the elbows from yep. that position anytime. Kolesnikov's been able to get off those kinds of shots. And again, you could just see that frustration at the takedown, but Kolesnikov is in a mixed martial arts fight, so yeah. this is part of it. 
And the corner is now calling for a stand-up again. There's nothing happening. And so that's the corner of Kleshnikov asking for that after the previous stand-up. McCormick in that half-guard position. Again, just trying to establish the position before he does anything offensive. Doesn't want to give up any kind of space with which or that Kolesnikov can exploit. Again, a real, a real solid workman-like performance so far from Sean McCormick in his pro debut. And again, it's something we've seen during the night fail is if you know you have an advantage on the ground, yeah. you're going to utilize that. And, and that's what we're seeing. It's up to Kolesnikov to stop you from implementing this game plan. Kolesnikov trying to land shots from the bottom. 10-second clapper. And it would be interesting to see the demeanor of both fighters making their way back to the, their respective corners. Yeah, how quickly will Kolesnikov get back to his feet? Is it too simple to say, Phil, coming into the tour round? Kolesnikov needs to keep it standing. McCormick, do the same, take him down. No, I think that's a perfect description of what we're going to see trying to happen there, but Kolesnikov trying to mount using the last little bit of energy he has to try and mount some offense, but in doing so, just invites the takedown from Sean McCormick. Good balance to stop it, but it was only momentarily as Sean McCormick chained up his takedowns and gets a complete. I'd like to see McCormick trying to unload those, those elbows a little bit more. He's been in positions where he can fire them off. And I think it's that transitionary step going from elite amateur to, to burgeoning pro that you sometimes forget, yes, this is a weapon I'm allowed to use. Yeah, yeah. He's moving up the torso of Kolesnikov and expect now, Phil, as you are calling him, to posture up and land shots. Turn that elbow over. Just free him off the face and then crash it right down, splitting the guard of Kolesnikov. Credit to Kolesnikov, clearly tired, but still trying to wrap up the arms of yeah. Sean McCormick, still trying to show that there's life in him. You can almost see him just, well, he almost wants to say, let's just stand up. <laughs> Let me bang, bro. Yeah, but unfortunately, He's got to earn it. And Sean McCormick so far has been fantastic in stopping in this round. And Kleshnikov in the previous round just used brute strength to get up. And I, I don't know if he can muster the energy to get himself back to his feet in that style. McCormick needs to be careful just with the hands. He can't cover the mouth, but he has to be careful with the placement of the hand when it's in and around the eyes. And Kleshnikov, he is trying. He's trying to get out the back door and turns around and is in the guard now of Sean McCormick. So credit to him. And you also have to, like, this is the longest that Sean McCormick has ever had to fight. Obviously, an amateur fight, as long as it goes potentially nine minutes, 15 minutes. Got to be careful with that knee. Just Sean was making his way up. Good work again from McCormick. As I say, just real workman like doing exactly what he needs to do. Screaming to his corner. I think he's asking how long is left. Was Kalashnikov. Big deep breath there from Kalashnikov. I think he wanted to know when do I muster this stand up and. Really get aggressive with what he has left. And nasty elbows. McCormick absorbing them to take that takedown. And Kleshnikov has turned it again. This is his moment. This is when it comes down to just how bad do you want to, Vadim Kleshnikov? This is not a situation where he can afford to stall. He really needs. I don't think stall is in his vocabulary, Phil. I think he just wants to go gun ho here. Got to be careful with that knee. I 
like I said, you can see the strides in a short period of time. Oh, and was that an illegal knee to the head? This could be big. And again, a, a little this bit. This could suit Kalashnikov, feel yeah, sorry. Gets a, gets a chance to get a breather, but again, Sean McCormick. He's taking two points off. Adrian Marin, two points. I think we were where he potentially needed a finish. He certainly needs it now. Kalashnikov just wants to turn the last couple of seconds of this fight into a proper shootout. Nice leg kick that really took away that leg from McCormick as he was working in. And again, he's just landing them downward elbows. So again, he needs to be careful. He could be completely DQ'd if he was to foul again. Well, if there's been a two-point deduction, potentially we're looking at a 30-25 fight. Yeah. Which the record books will show, but I don't think it will show the, the true nature with yeah. Kleshnikov, to his credit, has put it to McCormick when he can, but McCormick has implemented a perfect game plan and taking away the powers that Kleshnikov has in the stand-up. McCormick still able to land some big shots. Kleshnikov firing back himself from the bottom. 10 second clapper. McCormick just closing out the round in the dominant position and on his way to what is surely a maiden yeah. win in his professional career, no? Yeah, you gotta think so. 